Greetings, welcome back to the 2022-2023 Martin County school year. We're excited to see everyone back. I'm Krisha Lee Roberts, the chair of the Martin County School Board. This year, we have a lot of things to look forward to. One of the things that we're looking forward to is our new math materials. The state has rolled out new best standards all across the state, and we are having new math books all across the district. These are designed with simplicity in mind, and they'll allow parents to be able to easily assist their children at home. Remember last year, we had English language arts books. That was the adoption last year, and we had books all across the district, funded in part by the millage. This year, August 23rd, coming up right around the corner, that millage is back on the ballot for reauthorization. We look forward to seeing our students back on campus, and we know you do too. My name is Tony Anderson and I am the Vice Chair of the Martin County School Board. I'd like to welcome you to our new school year, and for those of you that are here for the first time, especially I'd like to welcome you to Martin County. As your school board representative, I want you to know that I'm keenly aware of the importance of making a decent living. In Martin County, we are really pushing to get you the best wage possible. So now that negotiations are over, we have done our best to get you a livable wage. Whether you're a teacher or a sub, we will always do our best to fight for the best and most competitive salaries around. As of now, again, I wanna welcome you to our district, and if you have any concerns, please notify me whenever it's convenient for you. Thank you so much, and welcome. Hello, my name is Victoria Deffenthaler, the Martin County School Board member from District 3. We know that there's a clear connection between students' mental health and their academic performance. This year, the Martin County School District will meet the state requirement of 80% staff trained in youth mental health first aid, with the goal to reach 100%. Middle and high schools will have a dedicated mental health professional on campus every day. Elementary schools will have a mental health professional on campus once per week. All mental health professionals will be trained in CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. We are looking forward to working with families to ensure all students' success. Thank you for your partnership. We're wishing everyone a great school year. Hi, I'm Michael Dieterlisi, school board member for District 5, uh, Palm City out to Indian Town. I'd like to first welcome everybody back to work. This new school year will be exciting. Today, I'd like to give you a quick update on Palm City Elementary School and Jensen Beach Elementary School's progress. The schools are coming along very well. The roofs are in and dried in. The windows are going in on both schools. There's drywall going in on the inside, so that means the walls are up. Once the drywall goes in, they'll be moving into uh, heating and air conditioning. They'll be moving into the doors and all the electronics that go into the building. And then after all that, we should have um, we should have all the finishing touches and the furniture going in. So we're really excited that come sometime right around the 1st of 2023, we'll have two new operating schools, get all the bugs out of them and make sure everything's working so both our staff and our students could go and enjoy the two new elementary schools at Palm City and Jensen Beach. Thank you all again and enjoy your year. Hi, I'm Marcia Powers, school board member from District 2. I want to welcome you all to the new school year. Um, it's going to be a really exciting year. Um, one of the board's priorities and something we've been working really hard on is school safety and specifically the safety of our teachers and our students. I'm really proud of the work our safety and security team has done. We were first on the Treasure Coast to implement the crisis alert system, which allows our teachers and our staff on campuses to immediately alert the authorities in the event of an emergency. Another important aspect of our safety plan is our family reunification plan. Um, this will allow the safe and orderly reunification of families with their student and our staff. Our priority as a school board is to continue to collaborate with the superintendent and our safety and security team to ensure that our students and our staff remain safe. On behalf of the school board, thank you to all the teachers, administrators, and staff for all you do every day. We wish you the best school year.